All right, we um, have an unexpected video this week, you know. I didn't think I was going to do this this week, but here we go. We got all of this beautiful information about the USFL. Got all this beautiful stuff here ready and up to go. A lot of things have been announced by the USFL over the past few months. I think it was two months since we uh, heard something about the team name. So now let's talk about, you know, some other stuff, some league stuff, some, you know, some coaches, uh, you know, broadcasting stuff, you know, all the good stuff. And the first things first is the coaches. Let's go with the coaches first. Uh, now, these were, like, these were announced very, in a stagnant way to the point where I was just like, are, are they just going to, you know, do it the way they're doing it? Because they announced the first four coaches, then they announced the next two, and then they announced the final two today, like... This took forever to announce when it should have been a lot better than this. But the coaches in the South Division, what will be known eventually as the South Division, you know, when these teams actually go to their respective, you know, towns where they're supposed to be at. Skip Holtz is at Birmingham. Kevin Sumlin, yes, that Kevin Sumlin, is at Houston. Todd Haley is at Tampa Bay, which is and Larry Fedora, who just got announced today, is in New Orleans. And in the North Division, you have Mike Riley at New Jersey, Bart Andrus, you know, at Philadelphia, Kirby Wilson at Pittsburgh, and the 7-9, 8-8, 9-7 man, Jeff Fisher at Michigan. Now, this will be a 38-man roster, 7 practice squad guys and stuff like that. Players can get college degrees at a couple of universities in and around Birmingham. Um, they're called Capella and Strayer University. I'm not sure if they're actually in Birmingham or not, but we do know that the league headquarters will be in Birmingham and that the games will be played, of course, in Protective Stadium and Legion Field. So the Birmingham Jefferson Civic Center Authority has authorized 32 to 35 games that Protective Stadium, the new home of UAB, and 8 to 11 games at the old home of UAB, Legion Field. And we do know that Fox and NBC will combine to produce all games, of course. We've been knowing that um, for quite some time now, but they will do the first game together. Fox and NBC will do a joint broadcast of the first game between Birmingham and New Jersey on April 16th at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central at the Protective Stadium, which will be the first joint broadcast since Super Bowl One. That's scheduled anyway. I know a lot of people were like, well, well I'm kind of confused here. You know, what about the Patriots-Giants? That was not scheduled. Remember, that was not scheduled. The Patriots went 16-0. That was not scheduled back then. That, that, that went up, you know, later. So... You know, we, we know all the broadcasting numbers and stuff like that, so 12 games will be on Fox, 8 on NBC, 10 on FS1, 9 on USA, and then the final four games, you know, whatever those four games will be, they'll be on Peacock. Yes, I know. Insanity, right? And the season, again, will go through July the 3rd, and tickets as at this time are 10 bucks. That's right, 10 bucks to go to every USFL game, and kids, if you got a kid that's under 15 years old, they get it free. So what do I think about all this? What do I think? Um, eh, I'm kind of meh on this, you know, you know, on a lot of these. I'm definitely meh on Kevin Sumlin. This man has just thrived off of talent. I, I really think he has. I just do not care. So I'm renouncing my status as a Houston Gamblers fan right here and now. Y'all can dislike yeah, you Houston Gamblers fans can dislike the video all you want to. I'm a DFW guy, as always. And a, you know, it, it, keep Austin weird type guy, you know, when it comes to my Longhorns, as you all know by now. But the rest of y'all that, you know, are new coming here, because I'm sure there's like I don't know how many people that aren't subscribed, you know, are actually watching, and versus how many people are. But you know, Kevin Sumlin, meh. Todd Haley, also meh. Jeff Fisher, oh god, that's a meh. I mean, this, this man is going seven to nine almost all the time. Um, you know, the 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 
45-man roster, you know, seven of these guys being practice squad guys. I mean, it's all right. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how a 38-man roster is going to work, but, I mean, that, that's kind of small. But, I mean, whatever, man. Of course, we know games will be 10 games, you know, uh, you know, four, you know, you get you got four games against the other division and six inside your division, of course, ten game season, so you know championship will be on July the third. I'm not sure who's gonna do that game yet. I'm not sure I believe it'll be Fox. It might be NBC, I don't know yet. It could be another it could be another joint broadcast for all I know. I mean that that's how crazy it is. I am gonna be watching the USFL. We are gonna be talking about the USFL weekly here. I'm just kind of lukewarm on things right now, you know. It, it's pretty much the same as how it's been when it comes to the spring leagues when, it com- when you compare it to indoor football. It's pretty it's pretty much the same to me. Like, I have to be lukewarm on these things, especially the USFL has already failed once before, and the spring league, you know, Brian Woods is technically a scammer, but, I mean, they're just not going to come out and say that he's a scammer, especially with Fox backing all of this, you know, with like a 200 million dollars and stuff like that now like they're backing all this up which is crazy to me so that is in and of itself you know something intriguing and so the usfl cannot wait um again i'm gonna be watching gonna be watching gonna be you know doing my weekly thing with it hopefully hopefully things don't get crazy like the aaf or the xfl i didn't do the aaf uh i don't think i did you know in 2019 but I did do the XFL, and that was definitely, you know, a start of something new. And hopefully the USFL, if it can sustain itself, it can, if it, you know, if it evolves from the bubble status that it's been this year, or rather for, for this season, you know, that's going to be taking place, you know, things will be looking up, you know, if things go well this year. If not, you know, same old, same old, you know, come back but I'll just be a little bit less you know I'll be a little bit more pessimistic instead of optimistic you know when it comes to this so USFL you got a lot of big shoes to fill so you better do a good job or else you know oh, we, we could we could this could this could, be, this could be a war I'll tell you that much between the X, the XFL and the USFL the USFL has obviously announced a lot more stuff right now I don't know you know there's the whole player draft thing in like February as well for the USFL, but, you know, things kind of need to be picking up. They need to be picking up a lot faster than this because, again, they announced the first four head coaches, like, weeks ago. They announced the other, they announced two more, like, last week, and they announced the final two today. So, I mean, things have just been slow, very, very slow with the USFL. So, I mean, you know, this this has to go a little bit faster than this. There's only two months Till the season now, you got less than ninety days until the season kicks off. So you better get it in high gear, real soon, guys, real soon. All right, that's gonna do it here. Um, come on back because we got some more stuff coming, you know. And these will be posted throughout the rest of the week. So you know, the rest of the, the rest of the content for this week will be posted throughout the week. Um, it's the weekend, so yeah, come on back. I'll see you soon. What do you guys think of the USFL, all their new, you know, their broadcast details, their coaches, or, you know, um, again, we haven't seen any players yet, but, you know, what do you think about where the USFL is headed, what kind of direction they're going in right now? Um, Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things you need to do, and I'll see you again very, very soon with more content. Peace.